In this step, we're going to start building the About Us page. At the top, we'll have a page title section with a gradient background, followed by a section with text and an image, then a section for our vision and mission, and finally, one for our team members. Before we begin, let's save a few sections from the homepage that we'll be reusing here. I'll start by saving the hero section. Click on the three dots and from the menu, choose Save to Library. You can give it any name you like. It's just for your own reference. I'll do the same for the services section and also save the blog section. Now that we've saved those, let's create our new About Us page. From your WordPress dashboard, go to Pages, then click Add New. I'll name it About Us, and then click Publish. Let's also add this new page to our main menu, so it appears in the navigation. Once that's done, click Save Menu. Now, when I refresh the home page, you'll see that the About Us link has been added. Let's go ahead and open it, and then click Edit with Divi. All right, we'll start by adding a new section. Choose Add from Library and select the Hero Header section we saved earlier. When it loads, I'll remove the row inside, so we're left with just the section and the gradient background. Now, let's add a new one-column row. Inside this row, add a new module, and from the library, choose our green subtitle module that we saved before. I'll update the text to say, Our Team. Next, I'll add a text module underneath, and type, About Us. Make sure to set it as an H1 title, change the text color to white, and center align it. Now open the row settings, then the column settings, and under layout, set the vertical gap to zero pixels, so the spacing is tight. Then open the section settings and remove the top and bottom padding. I notice there's still a little space under our green text, so I'll open that module, go to Spacing, and set the bottom margin to zero pixels as well. Let's check how it looks on different devices. On tablet view, everything looks good, and on mobile, it still looks nice and balanced. That's the top section of our About Us page complete. Now let's continue building the About Us page. I'll start by adding a new section. Then, choose Add from Library and select our blog section. We'll reuse some of its elements for this layout. Once it's loaded, I'll remove the row with the blog and the text module since we won't need those here. Then, I'll set the alignment of both the green subtitle and the main title to left. Next, I'll add a text module and place some dummy text in it. In the Design tab, I'll set the text color to a dark gray, the font size to 16 pixels, and the line height to 1.9 for better readability. Then I'll add a button, choose Add from Library, and select our green button module. While I'm still in the text module, I'll add a bottom margin of 35 pixels, so there's some space between the text and the button. Then I'll align the button to the left. Now let's turn this into a two column row. Hover over the row, click the change column structure icon and switch to a two column layout. Then click add new column. It will add one next to our text. In the second column, I'll place an image module and use our about us image. Set the border radius to 12 pixels 
and under the row settings, go to layout and set the alignment to center so everything lines up nicely. Let's check the layout on tablet view. I'll reduce the text size to 14 pixels. And on mobile, it looks great as is. Now let's move on to the vision and mission section. I'll duplicate the subtitle section we just made and drag it below. Then I'll remove the text row since we'll be creating a new structure here. Next, I'll add a new row with a three column layout. In the first column, add an image module and use the laptop image. Set the border radius to 12 pixels. In the second column, add a text module for the title and type mission. Set it to an H3 title and change the text color to white. Below that, add another text module with some dummy content and set the color to white with an opacity of 75%. Open the row settings, then the second column, and under layout, set the vertical gap to 20 pixels to add a little space between the elements. Now, go back to the row settings and remove the third column, then duplicate the second column. Change the title in this new column to Vision. Finally, open the row settings one more time and under Layout, set the alignment to Center. Let's check the layout. On Tablet View, I'll reduce the text size to 13 pixels for both sections. And on mobile, it looks balanced. Everything lines up nicely. All right, let's move on to the final section of our About Us page, the Team Members section. Add a new section, choose Add from Library, and select the Services section. Then remove the row with the services so we can start fresh. Add a new row with a three column layout. In the first column, Place an image module and choose Team Member 1's image. Set the border radius to 12 pixels. Now, add a group module and inside it, place a text module for the team member's name. Set it as an H3 title. Add another text module for the job title. Set the text color to gray, the font size to 18 pixels, and change the font style to italic. Below that, add one more text module for a short description. Finally, add a social media follow module. And don't forget to add the LinkedIn icon as well. Then go back to the social media module settings, open the design tab, and set the icon size to 14 pixels. To tidy up the spacing, open the group module, and under layout, set the vertical gap to 0 pixels. This removes unnecessary space between the elements. Then add a bit of space manually. Open the job title text module and set the bottom margin to 25 pixels. Do the same for the description text module. This will push the social icons down slightly, giving the layout some breathing room. Now, let's style the column. Open the row settings, then the first column, and add a box shadow. Choose preset 1, set the strength to 35 pixels, and reduce the transparency to 10%. Add a border radius of 12 pixels, and under spacing, set 20 pixels of padding all around.
Let's check how it looks on tablet view. I'll slightly reduce the text size to 13 pixels and set the line height to 1.6. On mobile view, it looks great. Now that we're happy with the layout, I'll remove the second and third columns, then duplicate the first column twice so we have three team members again. After that, you just need to replace the content, names, titles, and images for each team member. And that's it. Our About Us page is complete. We now have a clean, professional layout with a title header, an intro section, mission and vision highlights, and a team member showcase. Next, we'll start working on the services page, and after that, the single service page.